Hey guys, Laywood Gaming here, and welcome to the next series called The Crooked Man. Guys, I've been really wanting to play this game, and I never got to make YouTube videos over it, so this is why I'm starting this. I know that I'm kind of behind on how people made this, because I know people make this, like, in two I think this game like came out in, like, 2003 or something. Like, it's really old, but guys, I like old games, so here we go. Yep, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, um... Okay, now I'm scared. This gave me a warning. <laughs> <clears throat> there once was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Okay then. Paul. Woo! Finally. Things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to, to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it? Be careful, you two. Okay, I guess this is my, um, apartment. Huh. Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Okay. Hey, Paul, you forgot your license. You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look what, look, oh, wait, what? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait. I guess better get to bed. Hello? 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 Who is this? Shirley? 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 Why'd you hang up on me? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Okay, guys, now I have to go to bed. There we go. Man, I'm tired. Um, what? Is that, is that a man, is there someone crying? Oh, uh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Stupid neighbors. Who's crying? That gets no response. Okay, I guess no one's, these people are rude. Oh. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room, even it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh, what are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You you trying to start something? The guy who moved in 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Or, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. 
She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. It, was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Yeah, dude, I think it's all in your head. I think you're going crazy. Um, excuse me? Oh, it was the sink. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Under the bed. Oh, that's creepy. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Tolt. Don't want to go. Fine, then don't go. What's in here? Oh, computer. An old computer. Okay. Is there anything in the trash can? Whatever. Let's go back. Can I go back to sleep now? I guess I'm not supposed to. A stove. A sink. A refrigerator. Okay. What's this? There's a large crack in the wall. Can I go sleep now? Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm, found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Oh my, not this again. <laughs> that sound, still? Where is that coming from? Give me a break, I need to sleep. All he wants to do is sleep, dude. Stop crying. Whoa! Oh, that freaked me out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hello? Oh! Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean just, I, I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Yep, tell her that for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Okay. Man, I slept to noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. We have to go. Hey, what's up, dude? Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yes, this? Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Woo, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. You too, dude. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh, right on the mirror. What kind of childish brat do you th take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, stop laughing, sir. I didn't even know what room I went in. What the hell? Who the? Oh, it's his mom. Mom, I've been in a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my! If it isn't little Timmy, you certainly growed. God. Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So whenever you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me, so... Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Hey, woman, you're in the hospital. You're not... Okay, whatever. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? Oh, no. How'd you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Ma. 
Get out! I have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. Oh my god. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood? Take good care of her. Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy. Please. Mom? It's me, remember? Mom? David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but, she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sed sedatives. Oh shit, they're gonna... Knock her out with sedatives. Okay, whatever. Oh, hey dude. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, I thought I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Man, that sucks. His mom's, like, kind of crazy. Man. I feel bad for his mom. What was that? Hello? Who the move? Who moved this chair? Who moved this chair? Okay, I'm pushing it back. Can I? Why can't I push back the chair? Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a, a leaf wet for a school. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Looks pretty old. Hmm. These ll dot m dot courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the formal tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, not this again. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Haha, ha, you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call it if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but you know. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I told I told her your number. She said she has she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See you. I love doing that. I don't know why. I love acting like I'm actually call calling someone. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. <sighs> Let's just go to bed. Come on! I just want to go to sleep! Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? I don't know. Oh my god! Sink! Gah! What? This is creepy. I know, dude, isn't it? Oh my god, I don't want, I would just leave this house right now. Did it say sink? What was that? <sighs> what do you want? A wash basin. That's not the sink? Oh, the sink over here. Why do they call it that? Like, isn't that technically a sink? I don't know, whatever. Hmm, there's a, there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. They all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this like a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant, tenant left it there. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Yeah, you should 
Just totally forget about a note being in your sink. Okay. How do you even get there? Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion help, but yeah, you know. <laughs> this game's actually pretty cool right now. When is it supposed to get scary? I don't know. Well, okay, whatever. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Poor little kid. Where are you? Do you need help? Are you in the closet? Did you, did you um, come out of the closet? <laughs> um, okay, I'm, that was kind of messed up. Where would a little kid be? Is he out here? Huh? Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Hello? Hey, who dropped this? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. The coffee says, you gotta be... This room is really, really strange with its voices, and the TV's turning on. What is this? Paranormal activity. Dun -dun 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 okay, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you should sleepy. You sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, um, what's up? All last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady. You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'm asked the landlady. Sure, later. The landlady on the far end of the first floor. Okay, why am I talking like this? <laughs> I'll go see what she's kn she knows. Okay, let's see what she knows. Landlady, where are you? Of course she'd be down here. Hey, look, a crack. The same crack. That's weird. Well, it's an old ha old hotel. No, it's an old apartment complex. I don't know, whatever. Oh, here we go. Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. Just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, uh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants, if you'd like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious, thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry. I wasn't very useful. It's okay. Man, about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. <sighs> Something's bad's gonna happen. Oh no! What the heck? Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Oh no, guys. A key? Ooh, wonder what that's to. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ha, huh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Well, maybe she didn't tell you because she didn't want you to find out that someone died there or something. I don't know. I don't know what 
what I'm talking about. Okay, but I wonder about the that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Okay, let's go sleep, guys. Man, how long have I been recording? <laughs> what? Why? Where is that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Wait, do you have a radio, dude? Don't you have a radio or something? I think... Wait. Is it coming in here? Aha! It's come from in here. Radio. What? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm, there's something on the on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where is that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Do I need to get on the computer? Okay, never mind. Oh my god! I'm waiting for you. Oh no. Whoa, whoa. I'm I'm waiting for you. What? Why did? How? And when did it? Ooh. Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh my god! Just imagine if that happened to someone in real life. Oh my god. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha, wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds love nest. Hey, why, we, why you? Ha ha, just kidding. <laughs> Seriously though. You can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Hey, I'm glad to, to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? <laughs> oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know if you got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. <laughs> I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up the mopping, and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Ha, well, I'll be careful. So... Oh, so I'm going to go on this little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five-hour drive. Did the formal tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Prologue. David's room. End. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end it right here, okay, guys? So, yeah, I've been Lane Gaming, and peace out.